Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at some in-home streaming and NVIDIA's game stream technology using the NVIDIA Shield TV and the Steam Link. All right, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and make sure the host PC is on and we're going to uh, go ahead and change some options in the game stream PCs uh, tab and go ahead and go in there and adjust the quality settings. Both devices are wired with Cat5e ethernet cable so we're going to go to the ethernet tab and make our adjustments there go ahead and set it to 2160 at 60 frames per second uh, which is 4k and go ahead and uncheck the adjust for poor network conditions just to make sure that we're not uh, going to see any fluctuation in quality that we're getting a full 4k at 60 so we're going to go ahead and just do a quick anal analyzing of, of the network to make sure that our uh, speeds are, are basically good enough they meet the minimum criteria And let's take a look at the details and see what it says. So measured, we're over 21 megabits per second. Uh, we have zero frame loss and a little bit of, of jitter as far as milliseconds and no ping. So we are well above the required and recommended uh, suggestions from NVIDIA. So we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and try out our first game here. All right, first up is The Witcher 3. So we're going to be going start her up and make sure everything has changed over to 4k we're going to begin running the uh the game at 4k and medium settings so see how it runs if you look in the top left hand corner that is the uh, essentially an osd on-screen display for the nvidia shield just to show you what the bit rate is or what the bit rate usage is uh, for the stream and you can enable that by just holding on the start button on your NVIDIA Shield controller and then um, holding down left button and left trigger and then pressing B and that will enable the OSD um, then you do the same thing to turn it off but while playing the Witcher 3 at 4k 60 frames per second streaming I, I will say I was very impressed there was zero packet loss zero frame loss and uh, playing it was just beautiful I haven't played it before on, on this 4K TV, and it was just a sight to behold. So very cool, a very good looking game running pretty smooth. There was some jitter um, here and there. However, that could have been my, my host PC uh, versus a stream since I, I'm not really seeing a ton of information. They don't provide you with a lot of information like the uh, Steam Link does with Steam and Home Streaming, but um, they are showing zero loss. So that is going to be zero frame loss. Um, but overall it ran really well very impressed with it i also decided to fire up fallout 4 to see how that would run just as a first person shooter however it's not competitive obviously but just want to see how that would run in comparison to uh you know a slower paced role-playing game my experience with the with fallout 4 was identical to the witcher 3. Um, i didn't feel any lag it wasn't it was zero drop frames um, throughout the, my testing and um, it felt great no complaints whatsoever it felt like a smooth 60 throughout just I think I was running it at 4k um, settings at 4k at medium settings so it was pretty easy to run it felt great I did notice that the required bitrate for this game was a bit higher than the Witcher 3 but regardless it was still under 100 megabits per second and uh, again quality was great feel was great didn't feel any lag or anything like that so very impressed with NVIDIA's game stream technology, especially at 4K. I also did try it out at 1080p, 60 frames per second, and it was same thing, I, as I figured it would be. Um, but I went ahead and tested just to ensure that, you know, I wasn't going to have any issues, especially during this kind of comparison. So I did test that and no issues whatsoever. All right, so next up, we're going to be trying out the Steam Link. And since the Steam Link does not have native 4K streaming support, we're going to go ahead and just set up for 1080p. Go ahead and set the uh, limit to bandwidth to auto. It'll give it all it needs. And obviously going to set up for the advanced host options and make sure we're using our uh, NVEC uh, encoder on the NVIDIA GPU. And the Steam Link will use its Marvel decoder to decode this stream. So we're gonna go ahead and fire up The Witcher 3 to see how well it does. All right, now we're into The Witcher 3 and seeing how it's going to run uh, with the Steam Link. So everything is set to 1080p Ultra. 
and I did enable the uh, streaming statistics down there in the left hand corner so you're able to see your resolution, your frame rate, uh, also shows you the encoder and the decoder and it also shows you the streaming latency, uh, the display latency, ping time, um, a couple other things as well such as the given bit rate and the frame loss, packet loss, etc. So after testing this for a little while, same thing as the shield, zero frame loss, very little latency that I could notice. However, this isn't this is not a competitive game. I wouldn't expect someone to be streaming Counter Strike or something like that. It just wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense. But this is great. It works uh, amazingly well. It, Though it is only 1080p, there's definitely an image quality difference. Um, I will even say there's an image quality difference between the NVIDIA Shield and the Steam Link when they're both at 1080p. And I do have the uh, beautiful setting enabled on the Steam Link. And there's still a noticeable quality difference. Now, I don't know if that's just because the decoders are different and uh, NVIDIA might use a better decoder. I'm not really sure, but there is definitely a difference in quality uh, when, when using both. But as far as the experience, as far as latency, anything like that, it's, it's nearly identical. I can't tell a difference, and they both work great. Obviously, the Steam Link is specifically for Steam and home streaming, while the NVIDIA Shield is essentially an all-in-one uh, media player as, you know, as well. So the difference in cost is, is pretty drastic. I did pick up the Steam Link last year around Black Friday for around $25, so it was a great deal. And the NVIDIA Shield you know, runs it two hundred dollars the, the version i have is a 2015 so it's the older version with the newest update but as it kind of stands um if you have a if you have a tv uh, that's only 1080p and you just want to stream games the steam link is the way to go hands down obviously if you have a 4k display and you want to stream 4k the shield is the way to go really it's the only way to go i wouldn't say it's the only way to go there are some other options out there but it's probably the if you have a, if you have an Nvidia GeForce card, it's probably the best way to go uh, as far as quality is concerned. I'm really impressed with both the both devices. We're very happy with them. So if anybody has any questions about anything, feel free to leave them in the comments. But uh, thanks for checking out the video. Bye.